Hey, you guys, Adolfo here with NerdStalker at NerdStalker on Twitter, nerdstalker.com with all your latest tech updates and et cetera, et cetera. And anyways, here's a little uh, Mac add-on application that's just a sort of productivity helper and um, a really handy little, little, I don't know, utility, if you will. Uh, it's called PopClip. So if you don't know about it, um, check it out. Go to, uh, what is it, popclip.com or something. Anyways, let me, sh let me show you what it, what it does, okay? Um, so let's say I'm on some particular page and I select something. Boom. So you get this thing that pops up where PopClip has all these different little tools, right? So with this particular text highlighted, I can do a Google search. So if I click on that, I'm doing a search for Shakespeare or whatever search engine you choose. You can, you can change that up um, to uh, be the other search engine, whatever, a ton of other surf en search engines. Um, and as you saw before, <clears throat> you can do the old copy, you know, uh, this is a dictionary option. Uh, it'll speak it for you. It'll send it to Evernote for you, which is really nice. Uh, throw it into your Todoist, my particular uh, productivity app of choice. Uh, you can throw it into a new iMessage automatically. So let's do that. I put uh, Shakespeare here should open up. There you go. You see that. And um, so let's, so I've got like a, not the greatest reading vision anymore, right? So you can do something like this where you select it and there's this sort of thing that looks like a full screen thing. It's called large type and it makes it like this. This is really nice, right? So for easy reading of a lot of content, which is a very small article or something like that, for, let's say, uh, very helpful in that respect. Uh, let's also, you can send it to your Trello board. Uh, I use Trello for Kanban type work and uh, email. You can email quotes, whatever uh, to people, or you could create a text expander snippet of choice. I prefer a text because there's no, uh, it's $5 and text expander is like a subscription fee now, which is lame, uh, but whatever floats your boat. Okay, so what's really cool about uh, PopClip is, um, so here's what it looks like in your toolbar and your tray. I have it hidden here in my bartender. But uh, so it's as simple as this. You can turn it on and off here, start at login, show in menu bar. That's what I do. And you can change the appearance of it, you know, what language. And this is where you can select what actions. The actions are what you install. And I'll show you that. They're the extensions essentially. And I'll show you that in a bit. I'm going to turn off text expander. And then um, so these are the ones that you've seen here. And and you can exclude apps too, certain apps if you don't want it to use, uh, you work within there. And then the old, you know, how do I contact you and rated it and all that stuff, right? So let's go to the real muscle of PopClip, the extensions. So you, I go to, uh, it's pilotmoon.com forward slash PopClip, by the way, people. Um, <clears throat> so PilotMoon is the, the software company that makes them. Uh, the extension. So this is like a whole extension pack here. Uh, you'll see they have featured extension. This one's highlight where you can highlight text, right? Obviously, which is really neat in whatever particular uh, text editor you use. Um, you'll see all these different selections. Delete, paste, match, um, text transformation options here, title case, quotes, brackets, really cool you know, for your programmers out there, whatever markup people or markdown people. Uh, markdown, copies markdown, markdown HTML. Uh, t text stats, text display, that's what I use, that whole uh, making things legible, really big, text to speech, I use that too. So um, it can read it to you, you select it, it'll read the block of text for you. Translation is really neat too. Uh, Google Translate and that kind of thing, I don't have a big need for that, but who knows, you might. Uh, so really powerful, you'll see all these different things. Uh, I, I use Evernote as mine, you might use Dev and Think or something like that. I've selected the uh, Trello, so you can, select whatever based on your particular tool and you could always uh contact the company too if you have a tool that that you would like to uh utilize too uh writing apps scrivener ulysses to do apps your particular to do app again mine was a um, todoist which i recommend uh it can integrate with your calendar apps like uh, fantastic cal busy cal uh, on the mac right so this is mac based here um other apps too uh this email one is really cool because I use Gmail, right? And I have it set up so that when I click any type of email link, it automatically opens a new compose window in Gmail for me. So I can, uh, so it doesn't need a client like mail or something like that on the Mac because I prefer to keep as much stuff web based as possible. And um, so, yeah, so it's really, really handy there. Alfred, LaunchBar, you know, what have you, all your other Slack is another one. 
you may want to utilize for you Slack users out there. These are the search engines that I mentioned earlier. So it goes on and on. Uh, other searches too, PubMed, um, social networking tools too, you know, obviously for easy sharing. They have a really cool Spotify option. So on and on and on, working with URLs to your bookmark tool of choice or read later choice, uh, phone numbers. We can do things like calling, which is really handy too if you select a phone number. And uh, dictionaries, which I use also to define certain words. Uh, and then for developers, you get all kinds of really neat stuff here, right? HTML encoding, you throw open BB Edit terminals, a really cool one here. Uh, utilizes Dash, that kind of thing, and other useful tools like uh, converging, converting, calculating, and uh, all that type of stuff. So check it out. Um, all kinds of great information. So that was sort of pop clip in a nutshell. Again, you also do is like that. Boom, there it is. Check it out. Um, PilotMoon.com. I believe it's where you get it. Yeah, so there's their other solutions. And uh, yeah, pilotmoon.com forward slash pop clip. I hope this was helpful for all you uh, Mac users out there. Yep, it's Mac only at the Mac App Store. It's only 10 bucks. You can try it for free, see how it's working for you. Uh, I like it. It's a nice, really low bar utility uh, that you could be using if uh, it suits your need. Very handy for your workflow. All right, again, I am Adolfo Fronda at NerdStalker on Twitter. Check us out at NerdStalker.com and all our YouTube videos at NerdStalker TV uh, on YouTube and all the places. Check out the podcast on iTunes. Please give it a thumbs up if you may. And uh, we appreciate all your support. See you next time.